Biological control is the use of living organisms, in, like insects for example, in managing other living organisms. Uh, there are many different types of biological control. Classical biological control, where we actually introduce natural enemies. The pest would have originated from, uh, from country A. We go back to country A, we pick up uh, the natural enemies from country A and bring it to country B, where now the pest is uh, residing. What we call uh, augmentation, we mash rear natural enemies and we release them in order to manage a pest as quickly as possible conservation where we have natural enemies already in the system we try and conserve them so that they can act uh, whenever it's necessary against the pest that is residing there. I think uh, biological control is becoming very trendy uh, a lot of countries are very concerned about you know uh, the environment people are trying to find ways and means in which uh, they can use uh, anything besides uh, chemicals. The problem I have with Patinium is that it's taking over my farm and it's very hard to control. It interferes with my crops by stealing their fertilizer and my plants are now showing symptoms of malnutrition. I struggle to control this weed as it's spreading very rapidly. When I remove the weed, there are seeds going into the soil and if it's raining, in one week the Patinium will come back. Even when I'm using chemicals, the weed comes back. It's very discouraging. The whole thing about biological control is about balance. How do you balance? You don't want the pest to be too much, neither do you want the natural enemies to be too much, because if it's too much, then you find that they have nothing to feed. So you have to find a balance. And so this is basically an ecological balance that you have to set. Oh, so part, huh? On cabbage, I don't spray any insecticides because there are a lot of natural enemies. Even though there are invasive pests damaging my crops, I still can bear the losses because I don't have to buy the pesticides. It basically you know, uh, empowers farmers uh, by managing what they spray, how they spray and, and what they put into the ecosystem. This basically empowers you to take charge of your system. The, the diamondback moth is a major problem in Southeast Asian countries. This particular pest has become a, a serious pest due to the resistance it has developed to all the major insecticides. After giving up on pesticides, I think a lot of people started looking at other options and they started introducing parasites uh, against the diamondback moth. And they found uh, really uh, spectacular successes. And today you find that the diamondback moth problem is not as severe a problem as before. And it's simply because uh, these natural enemies, these parasites are doing a wonderful job. I'm passionate about biocontrol simply because I've seen it work. In the systems that it works, it is cost effective. It is in fact free. It's also ecologically very friendly. Uh, it's very self-sustaining once you get the system going and it's safe to people. That's the most important thing. <laughs>